The Victoria Day long weekend is fast approaching, a chance for many of us in Vancouver Island to pack up and spend a few days in a tent or a trailer or somewhere in the outdoors. Essential supplies such as a sleeping bag and a flashlight are usually a given. And for many who go camping, so too is a cooler full of beer or wine or another alcoholic drink. But for campers in other parts of the country, provincial and national parks are banning booze in their campgrounds. At least they are on busy long weekends. So what about here on the island and the rest of B.C.? Should such a ban be in place? And how do you enforce it? Here's A News reporter Gord Kerbis. Nick Chalecki throws another piece of wood on the fire here at the Miracle Beach campground. He and fellow Victorian Matt Iverson are making their way down the island. They're enjoying various campgrounds and obviously the odd drink or two. But he says camping can be enjoyed without alcohol. It is, yeah, it is possible. It's a different trip, that's for sure. But um, no, you can enjoy the outdoors without the alcohol. You don't need it all the time. But some do take in lots of it while they're camping, so much so that it's become a problem in places like Banff, where this Victoria Day weekend there will be a ban on booze. It's a response to visitor feedback, so visitors have been telling us they really want to be able to come and enjoy these places and connect with them and have great opportunities here. So uh, visitor feedback and complaints, of course, uh, are generating uh, this response. Park wardens and RCMP will be patrolling the campsites to ensure they are alcohol-free every long weekend throughout the summer. I could definitely see why they do it, but uh, I think it would stop a lot of people from coming to campsites. They'd probably go to more little private ones or that, but... Yeah, some people do get kind of rowdy. That same policy is also being introduced in various provincial parks in Ontario as well. Nicholas Boudreau moved here from Ontario, and he says camping back east is much different than here in the west. You know, I always we found that there was like always a lot of people like drinking and partying at like the campsites, and, but uh, like if there's kids and stuff around, like the kids would try and be nice about it, you know. A few campsites over, the Wilkins family is visiting from Wasp. They've seen instances where underage drinking at campsites can get out of hand, but think more individual enforcement rather than an outright ban is a better solution. You go and you have a good time and you socialize and everything, so socializing sometimes as an adult means sitting around the campfire having a beer. A public affairs officer with the Ministry of Environment told A News Today there hasn't been a need to ban liquor here. The preference is to use public relations and compliance monitoring instead. In Miracle Beach, Gord Kerbis, A News.